Here's how you build Soto, a wearable Bluetooth corded key set for one-handed entry on your phone or computer. First, get your materials. You'll need an Adafruit Bluefruit Feather, I use the 32U4, and a battery, a little protoboard, resistors, a switch, some flexible wire, four pin JST headers, push buttons, pancake vibration motors, and access to a 3D printer so you can print plenty of these custom button motor holders and some decorative covers. You'll also need the basics, solder, hot glue, and a computer. First, get your print started. Make five holders and five covers. While you're waiting for the print to finish, upload this code to your Bluefruit Feather. Then, solder some jumper wires to the protoboard. You're basically going to take the pins on the feather and rearrange them so that you have a line of analog pins, which will detect your input, a line for power, a line for ground, and a line of PWM pins, which will communicate with the vibration motors. On the opposite side of the board, you can throw some pull-down resistors between input and ground. Then, solder the analog and PWM lines down, leaving enough room to sandwich the battery in the middle. You're also going to want to solder your switch so that pin 12 can toggle between power and ground. Next, JST headers. You're going to solder wires that extend to male JST headers out of each row that you made before. These will connect to female JST headers that go on your fingertip sensors later. By now, your print should be done. Cut two legs off of one side of your button and check out how it fits in the holder. You're going to solder about 2-5 to five inches of wire on the remaining legs, longer if you have bigger hands. I would err on the side of more wire since you can always hide loops of wire in the decorative shells we're going to put on later. Next, desolder any existing wires from the pancake motor. Replace them with about the same length of wire you used for the buttons. Put the button in the bottom of the holder and the pancake motor on top. This way, when you press the top of the pancake motor, the button will actually be depressed. Thread the pancake wires through the first hole and both wires through the hole on the opposite side. This will form a ring that you can cinch around your finger. Solder or crimp female headers onto the ends of your wires and slide them into the female JST connector. Be careful of the connection here. The motor lead should go into the PWM pins and ground, and the button leads should go into the grounded analog pins and power. Use hot glue to put a cover on the underside of the button, and add another dab of hot glue to the wires at the first hole. This will help secure the solder joints. Make sure the wires on the opposite side stay loose, that way you can cinch the buttons around your fingers. Next, plug it into the JST header attached to your protoboard and test it. If it works, glue one of the shell covers over the male JST headers, protecting the wires and making it look cleaner. I'm going to use a loose header here to show you what to do, but at this point your headers will probably be soldered to your protoboard. Next, find a way to attach it to your wrist and cover it up. I 3D printed a base and a little bangle, and then I glued the base to the bangle and slapped it on my wrist. I also printed these shell-like beads to make it a bit prettier. Slip on the rings and adjust them as needed. You can switch between having the sensors near your fingertips or near your knuckles, depending on whether you're reading, writing, or need them out of the way. You should be able to connect to Soto on your phone and send text wirelessly. You can even have Soto read to you haptically by setting your switch to ground and using the UART functionality of the Adafruit Bluefruit app. For more info on how to hack Soto together, check out the links in the description. And for more DIY electronics and design, check out the website. Learn to hack pretty much anything at hackpretty.com.